Hello guys and welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you few methods that you can improve your sound quality. As you can see I have a pretty cheap microphone here. It's like $25 I believe. So the sound quality that you can expect from microphones like this is not great but if you tweak a bit your settings uh, you can get a microphone to sound a lot better. For example, if you are dropping some stuff around the microphone, uh, it's going to level the noise uh, to your talking noise, so it's not going to be that unpleasant for your viewers. Uh, also the same thing if you are pressing your keyboards, uh, like I'm doing at the moment. As you can hear, uh, you can hear the clicking, uh, the clicking, the pressing on the buttons that I'm doing at the moment. But if I stop talk, like I'm going to do now, The microphone is unable to pick up the clicks uh, that you do on your mouse or uh, at the typing on your keyboard pressing the buttons. So again the same thing with the mouse, uh, if you are talking and you are clicking with your mouse uh, you can hear it, but if you start talking uh, your mouse is not going to be here on the uh, the sound of your mouse is not going to be picked up from the microphone. Uh, so yeah, today I'm going to show you it's pretty easy, uh, you just need to add a few filters on OBS or Streamlabs. Uh, here probably you see that I have a bit of money, uh, I did save this money for like uh, <laughs> 40 years, so I can buy RTX and video, video card from the new series uh, 3080, 3090, 3070, I don't know for what the money it's gonna be enough but yeah jokes aside uh, let's jump and uh, let me show you how you can do it easily uh, about the video quality that you see right now uh, I'm using my phone and I'm transferring the video wirelessly directly so that's why the quality is not that good uh, but yeah uh, let's jump into the settings that we need to do all right now we are in OBS uh, without any filters if you didn't apply already any filter to your microphone, uh, it's gonna be like this. Uh, if I stop talking, you can hear the background noise. And this noise, uh, after we do the filters, uh, you cannot hear it. Be advised, I'm gonna show you how you can do it. You just go on Mic Aux and then click on the setting button and then go on filters and the first filter that we're gonna add is gonna be noise suppression so you just go click on the plus then filter type and then pick up noise suppressions and press done and once you do that you're gonna have this filter what this filter is doing is suppressing the noise that your microphone is picking up I'm gonna turn it on now and uh, you will notice the difference So now you cannot hear uh, background noise like uh, you was able to hear it before. Here from the slider uh, you can go and uh, configure it, uh, the way your microphone is working with the best results that you can get. Uh, since I boosted microphone at maximum almost, uh, that's why I tend to go on the lowest part. Okay, another filter is gain. Uh, Again, we're gonna click on the plus button, then filter type gain, and then we're gonna press done. What gain is doing, it's um, controlling the boosting from your microphone. If you slide down, for example, uh, I'm still talking normally, but uh, as you can probably notice, my voice is so low. So if you want extra boost or just to lower your microphone, you can do it from here. Uh, I found it uh, for me the best is like 1.5, I believe. Yeah, 1.5 is the best for me uh, because I'm speaking, as I said on the video, around one meter um, away from the microphone. The next three. Uh, Poggins, three filters that we're gonna use, uh, they're not integrated into OBS or Streamlabs, uh, that's why we're gonna have to visit this site here, uh, reaper.fm uh, rip plugins. 
So from here uh, you can download these plugins. Uh, there is a 32-bit version and 64-bit version as well. Uh, if you scroll down a bit, uh, you can read a bit more what these plugins are doing. Uh, but the first plugin that uh, we're gonna use, uh, it's gonna be the one uh, uh, that is uh, turning off our microphone uh, for the noise that it's picking up. So we're gonna go to the plus again, then we're gonna click uh, uh, on this VST plugin. And once we do that, uh, we're gonna choose uh, the rear gate standalone one and uh, we want to open this plugin uh, the thing that this plugin is doing uh, it's uh, from here on the left side with this button uh, we want to make uh, this button just above our noise so i'm gonna turn it on uh, now it's turned it on You can see these green bars. These green bars indicate the noise uh, that are surrounding the microphone. So if you move the bar just above the noise, the microphone is not going to be on when uh, these noises are happening and uh, uh, you're not going to be able to hear them when you are not talking. If your voice is uh, cracking up or cutting, uh, you want to go on hold and uh, use the slider a bit on the right side uh, that way it's gonna be better and your voice is not gonna cut also on the attack as well just put a bit uh, like this uh, are my settings so the way i'm speaking it's not gonna picking up any of the it's not gonna picking up it's not gonna crack up my voice when i'm speaking or when I'm trying to speak, so there is gonna be no cuts. From bottom here, low pass and high pass, this is the place uh, where you can remove all the keyboard and keyboard pressing, typing and mouse clicking. Uh, you need to play around, uh, just uh, type the usual way you're typing on your keyboard and uh, click with your mouse. But uh, for me, uh, the settings that I'm using are these ones, uh, like this. If I'm using it uh, when I'm pressing the keys or mouse, uh, the microphone is not picking it up. Uh, now I'm talking and you can hear that I'm pressing my key keys on my keyboard. But if I stop talk, as you can hear, there is no keyboard pressing. So again, low pass, high pass, this is the place uh, from where you remove mouse clicks and keyboard pressing when you are not talking on the mic, on hold and attack, it will make uh, your voice to not cut out. So this is with this filter. Another filter that uh, we want to add is loud. Uh, I made this filter. So for example, I'm without the filter. Uh, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna show you what the filter is doing. So be advised, I'm gonna drop my lighter again and you'll hear it like very high you can see how bad it is at the moment but if we go again on the plus uh, again go this vst plugin uh, press done and we're gonna have to pick this first one real comp standalone once we do that uh, you want to see this screen right here and again on the left side what this is doing, everything, every sound that is going higher than this threshold here where the button is, it's going to be automatically reduced. So now uh, I'm going to drop my lighter again. So you can hear the sound and now I'm going to turn on the filter and I'm going to drop my lighter again. you can hear how much better it is so the way you want to configure this thing is like uh, you want to position yourself like from normal distance uh, that you're usually sitting in front of your computer uh, between you and your microphone 
and just speak normally and uh, move the key to the usual normal uh, sound level that you're making when you are speaking because everything over this sound level is going to be automatically suppressed and uh, the volume is going to be automatically turned down that way the sound is going to sound uh, more uh, natural more normal and it's not going to have these peaks when you are dropping something or uh, stuff like this uh, so basically it's pretty much from here uh, that you can do it this is suppressing and making uh, your sound like uh, on the same level not having like high peaks like uh, we was dropping the lighter and uh, the another field that we're gonna want to have is EQ so again we go on the plus again we go on the filter types and then pick up again VST plugin press done once you do that um, you want to pick this uh, Ria EQ standalone. Uh, once we open this, it's gonna look like a normal EQ. From here, uh, uh, we can tweak a bit our uh, deep voice, our low voice, uh, middle range of the voice, stuff like this. Uh, the way I did it, uh, it's like uh, that's my usual voice. I mean, that's uh, the way I like how my voice came out. So you can play with this. Uh, the one thing that you want to make sure that you pick is this type band. Uh, of course, if you want to sound naturally, if you want to sound some other way, you can play around with it. Like that's not a problem at all. Also, these are my setting on the EQ. And this is how you can set up your microphone to not picking up noises, to be more loud or to be more low. Uh, from here you cut off the noise so microphone is not gonna be on, uh, you can say, uh, when you're not speaking. Uh, from here, uh, uh, as I said, uh, you will manage to make your sound like on the same level with the uh, objects that uh, you can hit or drop around the microphone while you're talking to the microphone so there is not gonna be huge peaks uh, for example as I um, did with the lighter and on the EQ thingy uh, you can play around with your high low middle um, middle frequency of your voice so pretty much uh, that's it guys uh, uh, this will help you and will make you sound a bit better even on the cheap microphones. I believe even on the very expensive ones people are using uh, filters as well, but uh, not software filters, I guess they're using other kind of stuff. But yeah, this is the guide. Uh, I hope you enjoyed and it was helpful because for me it really improved the sound quality that uh, I'm getting at the moment it's not like before uh, so yeah have a good one and keep it safe